Uh, okay, we're live. So it's show 303, man. 303. What is 303? 303 is something, right? Denver, uh, Denver, Colorado's area code. That's right, yeah. I was going to say, I've heard that somewhere, yeah. So today we're Denver. This is it. Where's Zach when you need him? Yeah, where is Zach? When... Yeah, exactly, man. This is his show right here. <laughs> you know? Mm hmm. I am having uh, hot lemon water because, as you can tell, my throat and my nose and everything is just red. And, uh, and, and what are you having, brother? It's uh, Oak Barrel Stout from Old Dominion Brewing. And they say they like dry hopped it with vanilla beans, but I don't get much vanilla. Get on the smell a little bit. Page not so much. And, and, and what did that did that come in like a uh, uh, a bomber or what? just a twelve ounce bottle? Just a twelve ounce. Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty good though. Good six percent, pretty low for stout, but it's nice. Hey, hey, Mark. Mark, what's up, man? Not much, guys. I'm uh, I'm still in my week period. You know, whenever I start uh, working out and stuff, I my whole life, since I was a little boy, actually, whenever I start moving around, like when I would join summer sports or whatever, I'd always be sick for a week. Now you're sick. Yeah, it's just, it's not really sick. It's just, like, I get, like, these, uh, I don't know, it's like you're sick, but you're, I'm not sick. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's it's uh it's it's kind of like my my drug rehab here you know it's going from couch potato yeah, to the body's like, going no oh, no don't, 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 don't just curl up and disappear <laughs> yeah exactly yeah what are you getting out of that lazy boy for come on <laughs> <laughs> yeah we were we were talking on Mark's show about or was it Mark was it your show. I think it was about how hard it was to hit that ten thousand step yeah. limit, and um, it is. You know, I could damn near hit it now that I've been back at work with this thing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I went for a pretty creative, well, a pretty long walk uh, while my clothes were in the dryer. <laughs> okay, yeah. and. Uh, you know, now this thing's got me because I hit. I ended up hitting like somewhere around nine thousand. Okay. Nine thousand steps yesterday. Uh huh. That's pretty good. This thing's got me eating thirty-eight grams of fiber. Oh. Uh, huh. You just like shave a tree or? Yeah, a cardboard box. You take <laughs> I packing, don't. packing crates. No. Oh my god, I'm up. I'm up to 23 right now. And yeah. what's my? It, it gives you like a time limit and everything. Let me see here. Oh what, wow. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, man. This thing is. Uh, I was well, telling my. Grams, you can get. Um, if you eat like some, um, like nuts, that type of stuff, those have a lot of fiber in them too. I've got six and a half hours to eat. Uh. uh 23 more grams. Oh, man. What? There are some foods that have a lot of fiber that you wouldn't think that have what, a lot of fiber. What about, like, uh, raw almonds? Do they have... Uh... Yeah, almonds have a fair amount of fiber in them. Um, lettuce does, obviously. If you like, like, like romaine and that type of stuff. Oh, does lettuce? Lettuce has a lot of... Yeah, let, lettuce has some fiber in it. Um... Maybe I'll have steak, a salad. Not so much. Hot dogs, not so much. But yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Um, yeah, it, it gives me a low score whenever I start having that. Oh, come on. Put five and a half watts, Googled it. Because it, right now, out of out of a possible 10, I have a 7.8 score on my diet today, so... Okay. Now, what do they, uh, do they have, like, um, is it a percentage of fat, carbs, and uh, protein, and how much fiber and stuff? Yeah, for, any, for anybody interested in this stuff, and I, and I think a lot of people are, because... It's starting to really. I'm seeing a lot of stuff on it. Mm -hmm. um, but you see, this is me today, and I guess the saturated fat is horrible, and the sodium is horrible. But oh, no. th this is me today. Uh, it, it's given all kinds of information on what I've ate today. I don't know if you can yeah. see that or not, yeah, but see 45 looks like a golf ball there. 45. <laughs> Yeah, 40, 45 holes of golf. Wow, you've been. Uh, 45 is the sugar, so I've done good with the sugar, 
44 grams of sugar. That's 53 percent. My saturated fat is already at 19 grams, which is 96 mm. percent of, oh, of the USDA daily amount, right? Yeah, the USDA is bogus, though. And then, uh, yeah, it's the government, man. We don't believe the government. It's a conspiracy oh, against my ass. That's what it is. Right. Keep the black man down. That's what they try to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's... Uh, uh, I, unsaturated fats are good, though, right? So I'm, I'm like at 74% right there, I think, right? That's, yeah. good. That's a good thing. Isn't yeah, it? Mon monosaturated fats are good. Polysat I don't know if it get does it give you like poly polyunsaturated fats? It's not oh. quite I don't know if it's giving me that. Man, there is just some serious info in here. Yeah. Uh, is that the app? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. this is the app. I'm on, I'm on the jawbone site and I'm wondering what, what the app is. Can you get the can you look at the app without having a jawbone? I don't know. Getting it up. But it's um that's my overall scores for today. Uh -huh. So the the purple is your sleep. So mm -hmm. I've slept sixty seven percent. This is my worst day, by the way. When I have this show, mm -hmm. is my worst day because I, you know, I'm already working. Like I worked twelve and a half hours today, and then I come back here, uh -huh. and it's the day that I don't sleep that much um, or as much. Yeah, and I, I have a couple days during the week where I just it's horrible, and uh, yeah. I knew this thing would be bad today. Yeah. So, because yeah. yesterday was awesome. I'm all, so far I've hit above goal. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yesterday. It's been, you've had that thing for what all of three days? <laughs> yeah, yeah, since Saturday. So, so, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's one of those things. I mean, I've had my, I have that Fitbit, which I've had for a year. Yeah, Pam's had hers for two years, and um, the thing that's interesting is, you know, a few days, you know, you may have bad days or bad week, but if you look at, you know, once you've had it for six months or something like that, you'll start seeing, like, what you'll 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 start to know what like a typical day is. Like, if you, uh, you know, if you work a little longer, you know, you're probably just going to get less steps, and that's just the way it is. You know, sometimes, or like for us tomorrow, it's going to be like a high of 45, so it, nobody's going to go outside. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be too cold to walk. You know that type of thing. You know, I mean, for me, I know just you know when daylight saving goes away. You know, can I get home? It's dark, so <coughs> I don't walk outside. I may do something else inside. I may go, you know, use the rowing machine or something like that. Yeah. But um, it is, uh, you know, it's it's more just a, I think just awareness, just knowing what you're doing on a daily basis, and, and pretty soon you'll just start to know what the trends are. Yeah, you know, I was pretty shocked at uh, how many. St well, not shocked. I wasn't shocked at all, but I was. I really was wanting to know a number on how many steps I take when I'm at work, mm -hmm. um, because I do drive a lot. But there's like some long walking involved, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I, I got to do a lot of like walking the whole flipping yard, you know. So I was kind of curious at, at you know, how much that would add up. Mm -hmm. And it and it actually added up to I, I want to say like thirty five hundred steps, man. It mm -hmm. was it was quite a bit, you know. And that's I think for me, I I, I want to say uh, what twenty five hundred is a mile or something yeah. like that. Did it? Uh, did you have to measure your, kind of an idea what your average step was, and then it figures it out, or how does it? I don't know. <laughs> what was it? Because I use this other app. I'm sorry, man. I don't mean to. I know this is like oh, a beer show, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, uh, fitness. But okay, <laughs> you know, I know when I go to my local small craft beer store, I don't walk as much if I go to like a total. <laughs> so yeah. if you want to walk more, go to a warehouse and wander <laughs> around. You know. Yeah. You, know, you get a lot more steps looking for for beer to, at a total you, wine than yeah, you do at a beer depot. You know, yeah. it is a thing. You know, people grab a beer and go for a walk. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what you do, right? You grab yeah. your bottle of beer and you go for a walk. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but I use this other app called My Fitness. Map, okay. map My Fitness. Okay. And then that, uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to share it with everybody here. Uh, the problem is, and, and you guys know this, that trying to share stuff with Google Plus is a little tough. Yeah. Um, they, they all seem to think that Facebook and Twitter is the only thing on the planet. 
Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, trying to contact the app developer and, hey, you know, there are other social networks out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So if I can get that information out there, I know it will help somebody because uh, not only is it the time of year, but there are a lot more people trying to be conscious about their health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, because yeah, I I find myself in that situation. Mark, have you ever had this beer, the seventy two Imperial? Uh, no. Is that a Southern Tier? It's from Breckenridge. Uh, no, I've never had it. Seventy two Imperial <laughs> Chocolate Cream Stout. Ooh, sounds good. Oh man, it was flipping delicious, man. Oh my god. Was it? Did you say that's an oatmeal stout? No, it's a chocolate cream stout. Oh, cream stout. Yeah, baby. Creamy. Huh? Creamy. Real creamy. <laughs> Real chocolate. Chocolate cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to go Barry White voice when you say that. Yeah, chocolate baby. Cream. Yeah, <laughs> cream, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was really good. Had a, um, a, a a real. It was a super balanced beer, of course. Breckenridge, mm -hmm. they do a lot of things right, and it did have that ever. You know, Breckenridge is it, it, you know for those of you that don't know, they do love their hops. Mm -hmm. So it had a slight. Like I said, it was very balanced though. Just, but at the end of the taste, it had a very slight little hoppy bitterness to it. So it's just slightly bitter at the end. Mm -hmm. Um. But it still had that nice sweetness to it, you know. It was just a oh, it was a good beer. Seven two seven point two percent, not tasting that at all. And I yeah. mean, I could have yeah. been on the floor. That's what I was telling Ruben. I'm glad it came in a four pack because I'd have been yeah. gone, so <laughs> done. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you posted. You said if it four pack, you you could pound the whole thing. It yeah, so good. Yeah. I'm drinking a the last of a growler of uh, Black Diamond Brewings. Um, what is this Peak Fifteen, Imperial Porter? Ooh, it's uh, they're out of uh, California, I think. And I got a growler up to growl. You know, I got my my usual thirty-two ounce growler. I drank half on Sunday night and finishing up the rest tonight. And um, lots of coffee, lots of not a just a nice dark roasted coffee with a little bit of chocolate. Is it and, thin like a porter is? No, it's got it's got some body. It, it's got a little bit of body to it. Um, I'm trying to think what the uh, what, what was that again? It? Eight percent. It's called Black Diamond Brewing, and they're out of California, and it's Peak Fifteen XV. Yeah, you know, so they use Roman numerals. Imperial Porter. Oh, uh, oh, that's fine. Yeah, so eight percent, eight percent ABV. And uh, I'm drinking it. I'm finishing up a good celebration. I changed a light bulb in the car without injuring myself, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> I had, a, you know, I had a tail. I had a brake light that went out. You know, I, I got to get this changed because they love to stop you if you have it something out and they give you a ticket for that. And I'm like, you know, I, I just got to pay my six bucks and change it before I, I get a fifty dollar ticket. Don't even get me started on that stuff. I could. That is a that is a rabbit hole with me. You don't want to go down because <laughs> they, you know, uh, being a truck driver, man, they just pick oh. on. Everything. And you've got a lot of lights. You know, it's like, well, the third running light on the right hand side behind the behind the second trailer was out. And you're like <laughs> Flipping really? Yeah. You know? Really? Yeah. yeah. No, it, it it oh yeah, don't even that it they they've been uh yeah you know, and my, my the company I work for is a big company, mm -hmm. been around over seventy five years, has a really good reputation. So normally we don't get pulled over. We don't get harassed and, and and to me, it just seems like, you know, everything's getting tighter in our economy. Everything's getting tighter. People are more conscious of this, that, and the other. Uh, corporations and business is trying to <laughs> squeeze a, a dollar from 15 cents, right? Mm -hmm. And and it's no different with the cops, man. Oh, no. You know, no, it's, it's no different. I mean, they... It's they, a way to generate some extra revenue. Yeah. You want to generate extra revenue for the city, state, county, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever part of the government, you start handing out more tickets. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, the, the police are the ones that divvy it out. The firefighters are the ones that spend it the most, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, because they don't 
most fire departments, I think a lot of fire departments don't necessarily charge you when they put a fire out of your house, don't they? Usually not, yeah. No, you're supposed to leave a hefty donation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although they will, I, I have heard, um, like, uh, county, fire, if you live in, like, the unincorporated county or something, and, and the, what, so if something happens and you're, like, out in a rural area, they send, and whichever fire department responds, if they're not the local one, they, they do charge. They have been charging for something, you know. Which, you know, I, I can kind of see a little bit, because you're not, you're, your, tax, your taxes aren't supporting them, so I guess right. you need to get some reimbursed somehow. Yeah, I think I've heard about them more and more trying to figure out ways to uh, to charge for their services because I think they're the one part of the government that don't mm -hmm. typically, typically, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that's a huge uh, uh, pain in the ass for me, man. Because they it, mm -hmm. it, and 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 the thing of it is, is like let's say a typical uh, let's say the texting uh, if you get caught texting it might cost you 80 bucks or 100 bucks mm -hmm. something like that for me getting caught texting is is swear to god like a 800 or 1000 dollar fine yeah oh yeah, yeah. so if you're a commercial driver bang it just right goes up. yeah it's not it's not something you should do anyway it's not don't yeah. don't get me wrong don't get me wrong it's just it, the quick way for them to raise a lot of revenues to pull a few trucks over because mm -hmm. it's you know it, 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 you it, when you look at the fines that way how how much heavier they are <laughs> you could pull a few trucks over versus pulling about twenty cars over you know what I'm saying yeah, so it's, exactly yeah yeah no it's uh, no you guys you guys do have like a big big thing in the back of the trailer that says pull me over <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's like driving it's like driving a red Ferrari for a car you know <laughs> yeah you, know, you just know. Yeah. You pay a hundred grand, two hundred grand for the car. You got to put another fifty grand for for tickets over the life of the car because you're gonna get yeah. pulled over all the time. There's, don't the get me is. wrong. There's there's some of us that really need some pulling over, man. I mean, there's uh, lately I'm just seeing all kinds of different truck drivers out there, and some of them's crazy, man, for real. Like mm -hmm. I'm like, you just didn't do that in a eighty thousand pound vehicle. I swear to God, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, you're you're not in your little Honda, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you're not your little Honda Civic. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, cool. so yeah, Mark was celebrating his putting in the light bulb. <laughs> hey, you know, I got to take pride in the small thing. <laughs> you know, it's not like I invented a cure for cancer or anything. I, I did change a light bulb without injury because usually every time I do anything, I I end up cutting myself or and I there's no blood, no blood was shed. So, so yeah, cheers to that. <laughs> You know, it's it's the small things. All you need is an excuse to have a beer. Right? Oh, speaking of beer, okay, now, I briefly saw this. I was, like, flipping channels. It, it, and it, tell me if this is how you are, too. You're hypersensitive to it. You're flipping channels, and you hear beer. Whoa, what was that? What yeah. what, back, what channel was that? What, what what was that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was that situation. I'm flipping channels kind of fast. I'm like, whoa, 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 <laughs> and especially because it was the news, right? And yeah, when I flipped back, I barely caught the tail end of it. But it was something about in in Belgium, Sun, where they're putting in a beer pipeline. Oh, cool! Did you guys hear this? I've heard uh, it to, really to directly from the brewery to, to the to the, the bottling plant. Or what? They're, they're, they're speaking of trucks. They're trying to cut down on the amount of truck traffic oh. between the brewery and wherever. So they're hmm. trying to cut back, and so they're making a, a, a beer pipeline. So why don't we move it? No. <laughs> right? How much well, beer? And how about the Congress doing the, uh, what was that, the Excel pipeline? You know, the one that, about, that the president's going to veto? He said, well, what if they did a beer pipeline? No president would veto that. Yeah. How much beer do are you? Each immediately. Yeah. <laughs> that, that much, do you, how much beer? Dude, that's like, I mean, not even... Well, I mean, how big pipeline. is the pipe? Is it like this, or is it like this, you know? I mean, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's right, yeah, because you just automatically in your head picture some 12-inch pipe. It's like the you Alaska know pipeline, you know, that giant yeah. thing. It's like, well, fill that sucker up with beer, man. Whew. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, for, for all we know, it could be some little half-inch pipe, quarter-inch pipe, yeah. yeah. They're just going to lay it alongside the fiber optics alongside the road, you know, and they're just going to pump e it. Even if it was, even if it was, like... 
dang, dude, that's still a lot of beer, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, for you to even consider, you need a pipeline. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of sure. beer. it is Belgium now. Come on, <laughs> they have a lot of beer to pipe. I mean, wow. Yeah, I I have to Google this. Uh, uh, yeah, beer pipeline. Yeah, because I I remember hearing about that, and I don't know what you mentioned right now, but someone mentioned something, and uh, I was yeah. like, the beer pipeline. Yeah, uh, Bruges to get underground beer pipeline. Cool. <coughs> wow. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, beer pipeline to run through Belgium City. <laughs> oh, right, Bruges, Belgium. So I wonder, it must be a place where they have the brewery in one It must be the same company where they have the brewery in one side and the bottling in another part of town. And they have to ship everything back and forth by tr- tanker trucks or something? I don't know. Okay, Maybe here's the, the link. Where it makes sense. Here's the link that I've got. All right, I'll, I'll I'll post the link up in here. This is, dude. This is, oh, this is nuts. What brewery is it, Joe? Huh? What brewery is it? Does it say? I haven't even read it yet. Let me, oh, let me. Yeah. Uh, but there's a video. <laughs> oh, wow. So a, let's see. Install uh, pipeline <laughs> under the city streets in Bruges. Cool. Sixteen hundred yeah. gallons of beer per hour. <laughs> dude. <laughs> It will take 500 trucks off the city's streets. That's why they're doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Linking, linking it to a bottling plant. That's what I thought. Okay, so they, they've got the brewery on one side of town and a bottling plant on the other. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. So, oh, that makes, that makes it's just like a giant tap line. I mean, that's that's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's that makes a lot of sense, though. Man, it's like, but at the same time, what would you have to do to that pipeline to keep it? clean enough. Yeah, I mean, I guess what you'd have to do, just like you would do a tap, I mean, you, you, it's like the, you ship, you, you, you fill the pipeline up with like the double and you run all that through and then then you've probably got to purge it, you know, you run through a bunch of sanitizer and stuff and then, then you run the next beer through. Yeah. A two mile beer tap. <laughs> cool. I like yeah. that. That's freaking awesome. There should be a mandatory keg stand at all times at the end of that bad boy. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, now I don't know about where you live, but where I live, and in the couple places that I've lived recently, you know, fuckers still copper. Okay, mm-hmm. can you imagine what are they gonna do to this bad boy? <laughs> right? <laughs> Who is not gonna invest in a shovel? Come on. Yeah. You invest in a shovel and an ice pick. Hello, beer. Yeah. <laughs> beer like our beer. <laughs> That's yeah. the way I think. I'm like, okay, now we can have like a what, what do you call that? We can have a beer old faithful for Christ's sake, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> just like this beer fountain coming out. Yeah. It just, oh. dude, it would be uh, 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 Peter Griffin's dream, right? <laughs> but just. You know. Uh, <laughs> well, on Beer Advocate, whatever this brewery is, Bruges Zote or whatever, it only gets an 83. Ooh. Oh, only an 83. Yeah. For Belgium. Okay. Yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that. Rate beer. Let's see what, what rate beer gives. It's like a local brewery. It gets a 65 overall and 74 for the style. <laughs> it's a Belgian ale, so it's like a it's like it's like the Budweiser of Belgian beers. It's six percent. Okay, it's like yeah, it's like a, a town brewery. It's like, um, <coughs> and that's the way it is in Belgium. I think. I mean, they, they've got every town has its own little local brewery. Yeah, no, they do. And, yeah, and yeah, that's do. yeah, that's cool. I would, I would move there. I it, just, you, I just, I just want like a like a little branch tap in there. You know, you know, like if people like steal the cable, you know, and they cut in and they splice it and do it. Yeah, well, you can just do that with a beer tap. You know, what if it was like city water and you could just, you know, tap into the tap and just have the beer coming <laughs> right to your house? You know, yeah. How, how awesome up the, would you have, that like, be? you have three handles on your faucet: hot water, <laughs> cold water, and beer. I did beer. Just, I want the beer. Put on the beer. <laughs> and then you could just get a beer bill, yeah, right? A beer bill. You That's right. Get a beer just get a meter. A beer meter. Oh. I want a beer meter in my house. 
<laughs> Dude, how awesome is this? I'm place? gonna remodel my house and put a beer meter in. And I can meet my own beer. How, how? They will charge you for every drop. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, you do not want to drive in this town, right? You don't even want to walk. No, driving you might be okay. You don't want to. You don't want to walk in this town because you're done. Son. You're done for. Yeah, you're done, son. You got people. Hey, Beric, we're talking about a beer pipeline, my friend. Just, just close your eyes. Lean back in your chair. Show us your hands first, but then think about the beer pipeline. Ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. See? Well, no, That's guys. exactly it. I'm, I just, uh, <laughs> Evan just sent me a message how to get on here, and I'm on with Greg and trying to get him the link to get on here, so I'm trying to figure that out. Oh. Oh, okay. I was, I was Greg, worried that you were thinking about the beer pipeline, and we still weren't seeing your hand. Yeah, so I, I was kind of, you know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that beer pipeline. Yeah. He's like, I got my own pipeline going. Well, it's my own pipeline. You know. <laughs> and well, it's, it's, it's maintenance time. <laughs> I have to flush that pipeline. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I won't even I won't even go with the cream stout part. Yeah, exactly. Chocolate. <laughs> oh man. Okay, now this is what we've been talking about forever, right? Now the only thing they need to do is have Limerita flowing through that bad boy. Bam! Yep. Limerita pipeline. The Limerita pipeline, man. It's on, baby. Joe D., I had a, an Apple Arita last night. And how was it? That thing was uh, lousy. It was a Arita. <laughs> Arita? Okay. Right. Was, I, I thought it just tasted like apple juice to be honest with you. I just had a sip of my buddy. Okay. Was it like a hard cider type of... Yeah, yeah, but sweeter. Okay. I mean, it's eight yeah. percent, like you know, like the other ones. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought that was the worst Rita, really. Which the one? one? The apple. apple. I, I think we tried that one, guys. I think it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it is awful. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I've still got a big can sitting right there in the fridge that I've. Probably had since it came out. Yeah. I just can't seem to. Yeah. yeah. I just I just keep it there as a constant reminder. Like I open the fridge and just ooh, the fridge. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So sometimes you have to. You know. So you put good stuff around it like this one, and and then you 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 know you you grab for it and you're like ooh. ooh. You know, yeah. <laughs> Scary. Uh, I think that I think that one's gonna stay in your fridge for quite a while, huh, Joe? Yeah, just... I, I can't see eating that one. Yeah. Drinking it, eating it. <laughs> Do you eat them? Yeah, it's apple. It is an apple. Yeah. I mean, maybe that has some fiber in it. Yeah. Right. It might. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do a search for you here, John. I'm gonna find you, gonna find you your 23 grams of fiber to eat today. <laughs> well, you know what I did? I bought some high fiber oatmeal, and okay. so. Uh, Nolan has a lot, I think. Oh, my old video. Yeah, finally but then, but then it, it has a lot of sugar and stuff too. Yeah. That granola actually has a lot of crap that I'm not supposed to have. Oh. Huh. Like, like old granola yeah. bars, that is granola bars. Oh, yeah. Apples, I think, are really good, and then I think Mark is right. I think uh, vegetables. I think it's more the vegetable mm -hmm. route, like the green vegetable route, isn't it? Yeah. Like yeah. if I had broccoli and lettuce. Yeah. Actually, what is? I think avocado has a fair amount. Of I don't know. It's fine. That's a that's a good one to get too. Let's see. 
Oh, I saw this excellent little. You know how people post the cartoons, right? The little picture cartoons on social networks. <laughs> I saw this great one. It's 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 two avocados and one's walking yeah. from the other, and 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 the one is telling the other, yeah. But I said you're the good kind of fat. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of funny. Boom. Raspberries, apple with skin. 4.4, a banana. So a banana was pretty high up there, because I just had some of that oatmeal yeah. a while ago. With, uh, lentils. Do you like lentils, Joe? Lentils are okay. Yeah, one cup. You gotta have a lot of crackers, right? You gotta have like crackers or something with your lentils, right? Yeah. Artichoke. Peas. Broccoli. One cup, five grams. The, see, the problem with broccoli is you've got to have, like, ranch or, like, cheese yeah. or something. That's true, yeah. <laughs> or just shit tons of butter, right? <laughs> so all of a sudden you turn broccoli. You might as well have just had pizza. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or just something horrible that you shouldn't have had, right? 23 like, I get... almonds. 23 almonds has 3.5 grams of fiber. There you go. I've been scarfing the almonds, man, because sunflower uh, seeds too. Yeah, I can get, I can buy the almonds are kind of expensive, but with the uh, points I get for fueling, uh, mm -hmm. most most truck stops give you points for fueling. Mm -hmm. So with the points I get for fueling, I get free almonds. Yeah, I mean, wow. every time you fill up, it's like what, like a hundred? How many gallons? What do you? What's a full? About a hundred. I'm putting about a hundred. Depends on the day and the truck and stuff, okay. but. Uh, 130 to 140. And what's 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 diesel right now there? Here it's right at three dollars. Okay. So you know I would. You know. <laughs> so you're putting in 1,500 bucks a week into diesel. I mean that's, you know, you get some rewards there. Yeah, yeah, they they love the hell out of you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've got my. I would show you my rewards card if I had it close, but it's over there. Yeah. But yeah, it's a uh, it's and your company cool. lets you keep the rewards for yourself, right? Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Are... That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah, so, and then you know sometimes you get double rewards, just like mm -hmm. any other rewards card. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you get you know two points for every dollar or whatever in the mm -hmm. how, however they figure it. You know, two pennies. They figure uh, something like that. I, I forget yeah. how they figure it, but but I, I can basically get. Um, Free almonds like every other fuel up or something. So. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. Almonds, are, almonds are good. Um, brand flakes, you could eat like all brand, <laughs> all brand cereal. Like Uncle Sam, you ever seen an Uncle Sam cereal? Like old people eat that. No, I never Uncle seen it. It's like 100% brand. It's, uh, it's supposed to keep you regular, so if you're having problems with that. Kosh, you guys ever hear, hear like Koshy brand? Yep, Kashi. Yeah. Kashi cereal is like real high in fiber. I think it's delicious too. Mm -hmm. The uh, they're telling me they want me to eat a lot of fiber for the heart health. <coughs> they wants me to eat a lot of fiber for my heart. <coughs> I mean, I eat I eat a I eat a fair amount of nuts. That's like one of my snacks during the day. That's all good. Yeah, I know. I eat nuts. Yeah. Are they salty? Sunflower seed. <laughs> salty nuts. Chocolate salty nuts. <laughs> no, I I did actually get some. <laughs> I got some dark chocolate nuts from me. Did you get those at the truck stop, Joe? Sure you do. <laughs> yeah, I got some dark chocolate nuts. <laughs> With your rewards points, yeah. and I can, I can, I can have a fair amount of those, yeah. Because yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> they're, because they're dark chocolate, yeah. Yeah, dark chocolate. With, without my, uh, <laughs> without my, my score going down as much, yeah. So as Actually, long as dark chocolate is good for fiber. I mean, there's a fair amount. Of, if you get like the 85 percent dark chocolate, yeah, it has a lot of fiber on it too. Yeah, they're they're, they're pretty dark nuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty dark chocolate. The darker the better. All shiny. <laughs> Dark and shiny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Oh uh, my god. Yeah, that that uh, that beer pipeline just sounds awesome. 
Yeah. That's over there in um in Belgium, Beric. Um it's the beer take, pipeline? Yeah. They're they're gonna start building a beer pipeline, man. Two miles. A two mile long beer pipeline. That's good. That awesome is. Preston just said hello in the questions, so <coughs> Who what who? Awesome Preston said hello. Oh, Preston. How, oh, yeah. how come I'm not getting invites anymore? I I don't know what's going on because I didn't get the invite either. I just went on Jody's website and yeah, I found the, the you set up the event and you I went up to his the... website too and I I couldn't find anything. So did Greg. We were Greg, both go through, go through uh, Joe's uh, stream on Google Plus and you had a share beer three hundred three. Mm -hmm. And you link to that, and then you you posted the link when you uh, when you got it going. Yeah. yeah, I posted the link right away in the uh, in the show notes there, uh, or in the show comments, um, because I it, I, I had a hard time just starting the darn thing. I don't I don't know what's going on with Google right now. They're not starting off the the new year really good. No, no. <laughs> There's Greg. There, there There's go. Greg. Awesome. Greg, did you get my message? Are you there, Greg? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, okay. he waited until he start when until he stopped talking about dark salty chocolate nuts. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was one of these <laughs> Yeah, he wanted the dark chocolate nut conversation to be over. No, he had to put his shirt on, that's what it was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hands yeah. above the table, Greg. Yeah, he, he didn't want to hear none of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 heard about that beer pipeline, and so he he's he's all done uh, maintenance maintenance on the pipe there. So he had to put the shirt back on. Mm -hmm. My God, it's a children, it's a kids show here, man. It's a family show. Yeah, so he had to put the shirt on. It's like Hooters, it's a family restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Actually, he was showing me all his his new work that was done before uh, before we jumped over here. Yeah. You 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 did that on uh, you posted it on Facebook a while ago, didn't you, Greg? Yeah, I think he did. Oh was yeah, pretty exactly. awesome. I mean, just a lot of detail. Just got it done. I think um, a couple days ago. The, the wow. Oh, okay. Finished up, huh? Yeah. Not not too long ago. It was just a couple days ago. He posted. The last of it. Oh wow! Now he's gone. Yeah, yeah he left. Yeah, he left, man. Maybe a final All right. I don't know what you had a, because I had a hard time. Did Did you have any problems this weekend starting your show, Mark? No, I. What I do is I um, I go on and I I set up the event. I do it as a hangout on the air, and I set it for a future date, whatever that date is. I usually set it up on Thursday, and I set it up for that Sunday. And then before I start the show, I just go into the event, and then I just start it, and then I invite everybody in this, you know, everybody in there to it. So, and then I make sure my eyebrows are nice and yeah, we'll be good there. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I've. You know, I start the show like I always have, and you yeah. know. Um, you know what would always happen with me anyway? I would put on Google Plus, and then all of a sudden, when you start, there'd be this little thing in the top left corner that's blue, and say mm -hmm. one new one. It punch that up and says. Do you <laughs> but yeah. now none of that's there anymore. Yeah, I don't know what is going on, man. They they. There's no just just no explaining it. Yeah, it's okay. I got here. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah I mean that. Is, I mean really. I mean, really, I mean that is all that matters. Yeah, yeah. That's you know. Is, My life's complete. I mean, I'm. I'm <laughs> really. Well, well, now it's complete because Greg's here. That's true. Exactly. See, your Greg. mic's muted, though, Greg. I can't read lips. Your mic, your microphone's muted there, Greg. Yeah, I'm, ha I'm having technical difficulties today. Uh, yeah, I don't know what what's going on with Google. Yeah, they're they're sometimes it, shit works and sometimes it don't. 
Yeah, yeah it's just that's the way it is with, with this. Uh, you know, we can't complain about free shit, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it is <laughs> free. My hand, my, my hand says not working tonight for some reason. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, we're, we're, we're like, you we're know. Like, oh, yeah, this doesn't work. I was like, well, it is free. Come on. <laughs> I mean, you know, <coughs> they, they could say tomorrow, you know, we're not doing this anymore. And you're like, oh, back, guys. that's bull, you know. See, he's going to go to the refrigerator and he's going to come back with, what do you guess, a Citra Bomb. Citra Bomb, yeah, yeah. I would, it's, it's that's like a, really in his uh, Super Bomb. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. A super what are you drinking, Beric? Oh, it'll be a Citra Bomb. Actually, I'm drinking a Citra Bomb now. I'll be right oh, there. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> he heard us. Yeah. But I have, three, I have two other flavors in there. One's a pale ale and one's a apricot ale. Okay. So I just happen to be drinking a Citra Bomb now while we're talking. <laughs> just so happened. I just happen to be drinking a Citra Bomb. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just so happened to be drinking a Citra Bomb, yeah. yeah. By luck, you just yeah, caught me yeah. drinking a Citra Bomb. Just by luck, you caught me. Yeah, I was, you know, yeah. I was just drinking a Citra Bomb right now. It's the first one I've had in 24 hours. So, I mean, really, it just caught me. Anybody, <laughs> anybody had this? No, I hear it's no. good. It is. It's pretty damn tasty. What's that, Gandhi? Gandhi Bot. No, I've never heard of it. Who, it's it? got the robot Gandhi on the front of it. Cool. Who's the brewer? New England Brewery. Oh, okay. That's why I haven't had it. They're out of uh, yeah, me too, yeah. Woodbridge, Connecticut. Connecticut. Okay. What's the ABV on that, Greg? It's not really big. Uh, I'm thinking it's around 6%. It doesn't have it on the can anywhere. Is that a, I, re I, reviewed it, I reviewed it back in April. Is yeah. it a pale ale or an IPA? Huh? Is it a pale ale? No, it's an, it's an IPA. IPA. Oh. It's a double. A double IPA. So oh, okay. It, it, double it, may, it, it may be an 8%er. It doesn't have a date on the damn can, though. Oh. Uh. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> well, at least it's in a can, so it can't get light uh, light spoiled. This is true, but it's an IPA, so if it's six yeah. months old, it's yeah. going to become a malt bomb. You want to eat. I'd like to drink my IPAs within three months. I do too. You're yes. drinking for the for the for the IPA part. Now, if it's a, like a double or an imperial, and there's other stuff going on, yeah, maybe a year is okay. But a regular IPA, you want to drink within 90 days. Even a double, I mean, you gonna that hops is gonna fade in a year. Oh yeah. But if it's like a bourbon barrel aged IPA, double IPA, yeah. something like that. You know, I don't think I've ever had a bourbon barrel aged. We should do one. Yeah, I'm hearing you. A, a wow. Limerita aged. Oh, shut oh, up. Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> We're talking crazy. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> hey, what, what about this one, Greg? Have you, do you get you get Breckenridge? You want you want black? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, I get this, some of them. I don't think I get all of them. The seventy-two Imperial uh, chocolate. Yeah, it's got the car on it. Yeah, I've I've had that. It, it, had what did that you think? Yet. I thought it was okay. I didn't think there was anything outstanding or right home about it. I thought it was very tasty, though. Yeah, I thought it was great. That was pretty good. It was. Uh, I just had this one. Uh, what well, was during Mark's show, wasn't it? Or yeah, was that? Yeah. Now, if for those of you, because I get I get <coughs> written every week, several times a week. Uh, what happened to Mark? What happened to Mark? Uh, you know. I don't know. His wife's been asking that same question for a long time. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> um, but the the for those of you that really want a, a, their their dose of Mark, <laughs> yeah. sometimes you just gotta have Mark. You know? <laughs> yeah. He does have a photography show, so uh, he has a big. And I, I'm usually there, drinking yeah. a beer during the photography show. Yeah. He's yeah. All yeah, he, he he always has his photography show. So, for those of you that that are looking for your weekly dose of Mark, uh, yeah. there there is that. So make sure to check out his photography show, and, and yeah. Yeah, you can always uh, uh, discuss some uh, photography and beer as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Beard says this is eight point eight percent. Oh, that's pretty big. Okay, yeah, that qualifies as a double. Hey, uh, bump the pH just. 
had a call me. 22 ounce St. Nicholas Bach Brewers from Penn Brewing. Ooh, that's in uh, Pittsburgh, right? Yeah. Yes, it is. One of the many craft uh, brewers in Pittsburgh now. Yeah. Oh, that's what you. Duh! I forgot about the Q and A. Don't take it personal, bum. I know yeah. the same thing with Awesome Preston. Yeah, sorry about that, man. I didn't. Uh, Our friend is Nicholas. So is that a is that a spiced Bach? Saint Nicholas Bach. I wonder if it's uh, like a. Have you had it, Ruben? Yeah. Is it a spice? Do they add uh, like spices and stuff to it, or? I don't think so. It doesn't okay. taste like it really. At least there might okay. be very mild, but. Okay. Tastes just more like a block to me. They also have a chocolate block, I know. Ooh. <laughs> you, you know what's really tough, man, is trying to figure out, uh, and this is an issue we're all dealing with because we're all on here, uh, trying to figure out where people come to you from. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I get people, uh, you know, wanting to friend you or whatever you call it, circle you or whatever, and mm -hmm. you, you don't know if they came from the photography are from the, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so you, you don't know where to put them, you know? Yeah. Is that a 471 you're drinking, uh, Joe D? A 471? No, he's drinking Is a 70. Is that what it says? What do you mean 471? Uh, that's what, uh, what, how's it listed on the bottle? This says Breckenridge Imperial <laughs> Oh, yeah, it just says Breckeridge, yeah. It's a 72 Imperial. 72 Imperial. Uh, stout. Cream chocolate, stout. Chocolate cream stout. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Chocolate cream stout, baby. Chocolate, yes. <laughs> All right, Barry. <laughs> yeah, you, you, gotta, you, you can't say that without going Barry, man. You got to go Barry White. It's 72 chocolate. <laughs> Damn the lights. Chocolate cream stout, baby. Yeah. Yeah, baby, seventy-two. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Yeah. The only thing missing is dark with chocolate cream stout, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing missing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, that was a good one. See, we need. That would be a great idea for an app. A Barry White impersonation app, you speak into it, and it translates whatever you say into Barry White. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That would be so good in a bar for single guys. You can oh, just do yeah. Barry White action on them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you'd have to, like, get rid of them. You'd have to have a posse to keep all the women off you. Yeah. Yeah, it, it'd be kind of tough to do, wouldn't it? Like, you'd have to... Yeah. Uh, you know, everything would be archived now, so you'd have to piece things together. Uh, I'm sure someone could do it if they had enough. Uh, oh, yeah. What do they call those kind of apps? There's a name for them, right? Because they do have those type of things. Uh, sound something, right? Soundboard. Yeah. Soundboard, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm still trying to. I'm. I'm still trying to cool off from that beer pipeline. I mean, the possibility of, uh, you know, Having a, a a tap, it'd be like you could have it like a water uh, line mm -hmm. coming to your house, Greg. What do you think? And and you know you could just turn on the faucet. You know you have, like Mark said, you have hot, cold, and beer. <coughs> that would work. Have the third handle on your kitchen tap, hot, cold, and beer. Yeah, it's it's a what 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 did you say that brewery got, Mark? Was it an eight point something or seven point something? They got an eighty three. 83. On, uh, on uh, Beer Advocate. <coughs> it gets an 83. It's Eight. like a Belgian pale ale. Yay. Yeah. Belgian pale? Coming right to your darn faucet? Yeah. I mean, yeah. There's, I, I don't remember which show it was. I I think it was uh, Anthony Bourdain. I'm not sure, but talking about they have these places that have beer bathtubs. Hot oh. Tub. oh, yeah, I saw on, that. There's a booze oh. travel right now. Yeah, I did. You know, there's, there's been multiple people that have done that. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, I forget where that's at. Yeah, but you, you, you can like bathe in beer. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Where is that? Like a beer bathhouse, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, <laughs> Would I you get that. Contact? Uh, putting it on tap, you know, just put it in your bath water and. Yeah, you know, but that would be a. 
I don't know. Fill up your bathtub with all like, with good beer. Superior, do do? yeah. Superior bathhouse, brewery, and distillery. <laughs> wait, a wait a minute. There's got to be a line here, man, because yeah. I do not want you selling this. <laughs> I want to know that there's a clear line between. No, but they sell it, and it's just like partially used beer. That's yeah. What it is. Well, that's where we get that. That's where we get that Belgian <laughs> funk from, right? That's where right, yeah, the funk. That's where sours all come from. That's from sours, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sour ale. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, it's really sour, depending on you know how many times uh, you squashed your old lady in there. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't trying to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Not that there's anything wrong, wrong with that. that. <laughs> right? Because look, 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 look. This is. This, <laughs> you want to know what happens in my head? You want to know what? No, happens? not really. But <laughs> no. tell us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it goes in my head. I think okay. Bathhouse in Belgium, Europe, wherever the hell you got to be to do this thing, right? And I'm thinking, okay, Belgium. Okay, so you're it's you and your old lady, right? <laughs> You're in a freaking bathhouse. You're you're in a darn tub full of beer, and you're like, you look at her, and you're like, "Hey, baby." <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, right? Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be it's the, the time. Fun. It's the place. <laughs> Honey, I brought my dark a chocolate quickie in the dark beer <laughs> bathtub, right? I mean, you've got to do it, right? And then yeah. you're like, okay, now what are they doing with that beer? Why does that beer have a hair in it, right? Because I want to know. It right? becomes the chocolate cream stout. <laughs> yeah. Chocolate cream stout, that's what it's intended. <laughs> or it just becomes a cream stout, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Uh, and that, and uh, that's where the that's where the funky Belgium hop comes from. <laughs> oh man! And we just call it exotic. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what we call craft beer. Yeah. Craft and, beer. And limited we, edition. Limited edition. See, yeah. that's what happens. It would put it in a green bottle and just say it, it's the light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, and all of that happens in my head. <laughs> that's a strange world you live in, Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah. You do not want to go there, man. It's horrible. Yeah, uh, that, that is hilarious. Hey, let me ask a quick question. Wait a minute. You know the funniest thing about that? It's in Hot Springs, Arkansas. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. <laughs> it's literally in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Superior Brad House Brewery and Distillery. We're like slamming. We're like slamming the Europeans in this damn thing's in Arkansas. <laughs> Uh, How much does it cost? I know, huh? Let me see. I haven't even got past Google yet. I'm just dying over here. Let me see. <laughs> I must take you pretty close to it. Little Rock. God. <laughs> Little Rock. <laughs> just go by the hour. <laughs> Charges by the hour. Uh. That is hilarious, yeah. And then for it to be in Hot Springs, Arkansas, that cracks me up. Oh. oh my God! I went back and pulled that review up, Jody. I gave that beer a A minus. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't. You know, it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, not the not the absolute best, but I thought it was really well balanced. Is what I was telling everybody here. I called it a chick beer because it was so sweet. Mm. Yeah. Well. Yeah, and see, you got that sweetness, and then there was just the slightest little bit of bitterness at the end. Wh how long ago did you have it? Uh, September of 2012. Oh, okay. So this version could be slightly different. It could be. I mean, 
Seven point two percent. Is that what it is? Yeah. 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 I say it's pretty. Um, pretty close. Bum. Bum said he says my buddy Angelo bathed in beer once, but it was only because he passed out in the bathtub and ended up bathing in beer that he had previously consumed. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> nice. Hot, hot beer. Oh. Nice. Yeah, that's that's the hot oh. chunky beer right there. That's kind of uh, yeah, yeah, recycled beer stew, right? That's how mild ales are made. <laughs> yeah. You know, when I clicked the link, I got a 404 error. That's not good. Uh-huh. Uh, dude, that is hilarious. I'm, I'm, yeah. It's on TripAdvisor, though. You can see it on TripAdvisor. Oh, man. It's on Yelp. Hello. Are they dating those bottles now, Jody? You what? Are they dating them there? Is there a date no. on the bottle? There's no date on this bottle. I didn't have one on mine either. See, Breckenridge doesn't date. I don't know why they don't do that. We're big enough to date. Just yeah, they're big enough to date. I've, I've asked her for a date many times, and she just won't. She yeah. just won't go out with me. I don't know what the hell it is. Yeah. Some will, some won't. Yeah. Some do, some do and some don't. Uh, I'll, I'll keep uh, I'll keep buying her and see if she'll go out. I mean, you know, one of these days, maybe I'll get lucky. Small batch series, though, but, you know. It wasn't. It wasn't too terribly priced. Uh, I want to say somewhere nine ninety for the four pack or nine fifty for the four okay. pack. Okay, like that's not bad. Oh, the four pack now? I <coughs> I thought it was a six pack when I got it back in two thousand. Oh, uh, let me see. Now, you, now, now I do got to look. Nope, four pack. Yep. Wow, they've, they've downsized it to four pack. Yep. A lot of the brewers are doing that. I mean, they, once they get a, a following on the beer now. They downsize and still charge the same for four as they did for six. Mm-hmm. <coughs> when I first started getting hops, family I mean, was in a six pack. Now it's, I think it's only in a four pack. Yeah, for for more than the six pack was. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Now, now, by thirty percent, raise the price by thirty percent. You're. Yeah, and make you get on a list to get it. Yeah. That's called that's called paying for the expansion right there. You know what? I don't. I don't know. Uh, uh, you know, I don't even know that this is a. Uh, yeah. For some reason they. Oh, for some reason they call it a bathhouse, but I don't think you, you can actually bathe in the beer there. Yeah. <laughs> it's. A, I think it's a restaurant. Yeah, it's it's just a restaurant and my it's a uh, brewery. Okay. It's still being a restaurant. Yeah, but it for, it's it's called a bathhouse brewery, Superior Bathhouse Brewery. Huh. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious though. God damn, I laughed my ass off to that one. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> just the idea of it. And then it, and then it was over there in uh uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I went down a whole Clinton thing in my head. Monica Lewinsky yeah, was involved uh-huh. in that. I mean, there was all kinds of things happening there. I, that is just like a whole rabbit hole, let me tell you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if that was a legitimate bathhouse, I was going to go down. <laughs> oh, yeah. man, that is funny. I was sharing a beer reunion at the bathhouse. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Now, now, when you do this, do you go trunks on? Do you go trunks on? Oh, with that? You're paying for that. <laughs> Not unless it's unisex. Yeah. Now, now, now they have, they have some bad houses here um, a couple of hours away from here up in Hot Springs, Virginia. And they have two different bathhouses, one's the men's and one's the women's. But then a certain hour or two of the day, the men and women can go to each other's and the, the bathing suits are optional. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can begin. Making friends. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, we're just social networking here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't be anti Check out my Twitter here. handle. Uh, yeah. I'm going to friend her and then unfriend her. <laughs> yeah. That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's freaking great. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. That's awesome. Hey, man, good show, guys, man. I appreciate yeah. you guys showing up. That was <laughs> no, that was freaking awesome. 
And I'm sure this superior bathhouse brewery is going to be like, yeah, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Their business is either going to double or it's going to just go away. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. No, that would be assuming that other people watch this show, other than us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that might be asking a bit too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're gonna get the the one guy show up in there and be like, "Um, I heard about you somewhere." Uh, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the bathtub with the beer in it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, where the hell did you hear about that? Yeah, exactly. In the in the dark chocolate. Nuts. Some guy on, on Google Plus was talking about it. Yeah, some guy, some idiot, man. He was really laughing his ass off. And yeah, he had a Monica Lewinsky <laughs> reference in there. I don't know what the problem was, but yeah. <laughs> had, a dress, had a dress on with a stain on it. <laughs> yeah. You get in free if you got one of those on. Yeah, it says something about there's hair in your beer. I don't know. But, uh, okay, guys, thanks. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Enjoy your chicken wings. We'll see you guys next week, man. See ya. Have a good one. Peace Peace out. Bye.